what's going on everybody welcome back to my youtube channel now look at this nice and beautiful question that we have here on the board that we're going to be solving and the question says x to the power 2 plus the inverse of x to the power 2 is equal to the square root of 2. we have to look for the value of x to the power 2024 minus the inverse of x to the power 2024. well our first step towards solving this question is to get rid of the square root of 2. and how do we do that it is simply by taking the square of both sides. So I'm going to be squaring x squared plus 1 all over x squared. I'm going to be squaring this equal to, I'm also going to be squaring the square root of 2. So squaring the left hand side, I'll be having x to the power 4 plus 2 times x squared times 1 all over x squared plus 1 all over x to the power 4 equal to, now looking at the right hand side, you'll see that square is going to go out with the square root leaving behind 2. Now you see that x square here is going to go off with this x square so I have the remaining expression as x to the power 4 plus 2 plus 1 all over x to the power 4 equal to 2. Our next step is to move this 2 to the right hand side. So let's move the 2 to the right hand side. I'm going to be having x to the power 4 plus 1 all over x to the power 4 equal to 2. Now remember, when 2 crosses to the right hand side, it's going to become minus 2. Now this is going to give us x to the power 4 plus 1 all over x to the power 4 equal to 2 minus 2 is 0. Now look at this expression. Our next step will be to remove the fraction. That means we need to clear out the fraction. And how do we clear out the fraction? We need to use x to the power 4 to multiply through. So let's use x to the power 4 to multiply through. I'll be having x to the power 8 plus 1 equal to 0. And now x to the power 8 will be equal to as 1 crosses to the right, it becomes negative 1. Cool. Cool. This is looking well and good. Now look at what we have from the question. This one have a power of 2024, 20, and this one has a power of 8. So how do we get our, advance, our value? You notice that 8 is a factor of 2024, 20, which means I can rewrite this expression given to me as x to power 8 raised to power 253. Remember from indices, powers multiply. That means when I multiply 8, times 253, I'm going to be having 2024. 20, minus, so let's write our minus there, 1 all over, I'm going to be writing the same thing, x to the power 8 raised to the power of 253. Cool. Now, wherever I see x to the power 8, I'm going to be putting negative 1 there. So let's do that. So this is x to the power 8, I'll be putting negative 1, and I'll raise this to 253 minus 1 all over negative 1 to the power of 253. Now, negative 1 raised to the power 253, I'll be having negative 1. Well, I have the negative because the power is an odd number. Minus, I'm going to be having the same thing. 1 over negative 1 to the power of 253, I'm going to be having negative 1. And inverse of negative 1 is still negative 1. So this gives us negative 1 plus 1 which gives us a final answer of zero. That means we are saying that x to the power 2024 20, minus the inverse of x to the power 2024 20, is equal to zero. Well, feel free to share your ideas in the comment section below. And if you enjoyed this video and have learned something from this video, go ahead and give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. Turn on the notification bell so you don't miss my upcoming videos. And like I always say, until next time, take care.